Billing shouldn't be a hassle, and it shouldn't put you to sleep. In fact, with TPS, it's so simple you'll be doing a happy dance in no time at all. Let's go to TPS so I can show you how to get those invoices ready for your clients. Billing in TPS can be broken down into three simple steps. First, what do I want to bill the client? All, some, or none of the current outstanding WIP. Second, what amount do I want to bill the client? Third, what do I want to say on the invoice? Most firms choose to start the billing process by printing off a report that shows the details of the outstanding WIP by client. From that report, the person billing decides client by client who and what they should bill. Most accounting practices bill individually like this, whereas attorneys tend to bill every one, every thing, every month, no exception. This is just one small difference as to why TPS sues professional accountants rather than other industries. Let's look at a typical report used to help the person doing the billing. I'm going to use the billing worksheet. Here you see a number of reports. They are simply variations of the same report, sorted or summarized differently. The primary sort for all of these reports is by client, but within the client, how do we want the WIP sorted? By date, by work code, or by employee? We're going to be looking at billing worksheet by detail, by work code, by client. We now have a report of all clients with outstanding unbilled WIP. Normally, we would print and review the report to decide what action we want to take with each client. Once the report is in hand, the three steps to the billing process are done as follows. Step 1, what do I want to bill the client? All of the outstanding WIP, then I would choose Quick Bill. Some of the outstanding WIP and leave some for next month, then I would choose Detail Bill. Do I want to bill no WIP at this time but still need to get an invoice to the client? Then I would choose Progress Bill. This is often used for either monthly retainer bills or on large projects where you want to bill partway through the job but don't want to take any markup or markdown until the final invoice when the project is complete. I'll do an example of each type of billing and demonstrate how steps 2 and 3 are identical no matter if you quick bill, detail bill, or progress bill. You'll see just how easy billing in TPS is and why we think you should be able to complete any invoice in less than a minute, start to finish. It really is that simple. So let's do a few bills from beginning to end. Billing in TPS is done from the bill icon. Here we can see all clients that have unbilled WIP. By unchecking show unbilled only, I also get to see clients with no unbilled WIP. Notice the first client with unbilled WIP is ABC Company, just like our report we saw a moment ago. In step one, we are going to decide to bill all the outstanding WIP for ABC Company. So I'm going to highlight ABC Company, right click, and I'm going to do a quick bill. Now I'm at step two. How much do we want to bill the client? Do I want to bill the client the exact amount of the WIP, this 4,912.32? Or will I apply a markup or a markdown? In the quick bill screen, I can choose how much to bill it out. Let's change this to 5,500. And you can see my markup of $587.68. This will be proportionally distributed amongst the lines of billed WIP. In Canada and some U.S. states, accounting firms are required to charge sales tax on their invoice. This amount is automatically calculated in the upper right corner. For those who do not charge sales tax, this will simply be $0 and you can ignore it. Let's check the invoice date, the invoice number, and then click OK. Now we are at step three. What do I want the invoice to say? Every firm is somewhat different in what they present to the client. Some firms provide a short summary like for professional services rendered or accounting services for the month of. And some are a bit more detailed with several paragraphs describing the work performed, while yet others may provide an attorney type bill with an itemized line for each line of the WIP build. TPS can do any of these. Let's look at the two extremes, the short summary invoice and the longer detailed attorney type invoice. We are now in the billing paragraph screen that shows on the top half all the lines of WIP that were billed on this invoice. You'll notice that the total amount down here shows the $5,500. TPS has prorated the markup across these lines of WIP to equal the total amount. The bottom section is where we enter what paragraphs or wording we want to print out on this invoice. 
At the top, we have three tabs, the time entry and work code descriptions, library of paragraphs, or past invoices. On the time entry and work code descriptions, we can add anything from the work code description column or the time entry description column by highlighting it and then clicking add paragraph. Or we can simply double click on the row. So I'm going to come down here and choose this one in August, double click here, you see it comes down here to the bottom. Now if you want to combine two phrases into one paragraph, you can use the copy into paragraph button here. When we click on the library of paragraphs, we see a set of standard phrases or paragraphs you can build for your own firm. These are just some examples we created for the demo. To use one of these paragraphs, let's say this one here, just click the Add Paragraph button or double click the row like we did before. In the Past Invoices tab, we can reuse paragraphs for this client's previous invoices. Now, normally we would simply choose OK and do another bill and then print all of today's invoices at the end using Invoice Batch. But let's preview this one first. TPS offers about 25 standard templates created using Microsoft Word. The default for this client is IS9. If I click Preview, Word will get launched and the invoice will come up on screen. So this is an example of just one of our templates. This is what the IS9 template would look like. Now let's look at the IS8 just so you can get a sense of what other templates are available. Here you can see that this template brings in a prior balance owing. So both of these templates are fairly simple invoices using the paragraphs that we assigned. But how would I create one of those attorney type detail invoices where bits from each line of WIP get brought into the invoice? Well TPS has developed a very simple method of doing it. We have a template that will bring in information for you. Now back on the billing paragraph screen, let's choose the ID1 template. I'll get rid of my paragraphs just to show you I've got no paragraphs assigned. But when I click preview, the template will automatically bring in information from the lines of WIP build. Now this is a long one because we had a lot of lines of WIP build, but you can see that it brings in the date, the employee, the work code name, the work code description, the time entry description, the number of hours, and the amount. Now that would be pretty hard to do manually, so you can see this is a great time saver if you like these detail type invoices. So those are some of our choices and certainly keep in mind that they are starting points and you can modify and create your own template to suit your taste. Now that we've finished previewing our invoice, I'll go ahead and click OK. And we've done our first bill, but we took a while. So let's go through one more bill and we'll show you how quick it can be. Let's do a quick bill for Bayside Restaurant. They have just over 1200 worth of unbilled WIP, so I'm going to right click and choose Quick Bill. I've decided to mark them up to 1500. And if I was charging tax, it would be calculated there, so I'll check my invoice date and my invoice number, and I'll click OK. And now I'll need to assign my paragraphs for this invoice. And this time I will also itemize my paragraphs. So I'll put 500 for the first paragraph, 300 for the second, and 700 for the third. And now if I click Preview, I can see my template, the IS9. And there's my invoice. You can see how it really can take less than a minute and maybe even less than 30 seconds from start to finish. Now let's look at how we can do an invoice where we pick and choose what lines of WIP to bill. Let's choose someone like the beauty salon. Let's right click and this time we'll do detail bill. You'll notice that in the detail bill screen we can see all the lines of WIP for this client that are not yet billed. We can select all of them or some of the WIP. What might make it easier in selecting is putting the WIP in date order or maybe even work code order because maybe I want to bill certain kinds of work. To select the lines of WIP, I just double click on each one. I'll choose all these 400 level lines here. So I can write, I can click on a couple of them, or I can highlight all the 400 ones, right click and I have options here. 
I'm going to check selected, and maybe I'll also choose the one, the 707 line of whip, this one here. Notice as I was checking these off, at the bottom it's telling me how many hours and dollars I've selected. So 16 and a half hours at $1,609 is what I've selected so far. Now I've selected it, but I haven't told the program how much I want to bill it at. So I need to right click, and I can choose final bill if I want to bill it at the 1609 or final bill at if I want to apply a markup or a markdown. I'm going to choose final bill at. This time I'll mark it down to 1500. And I'll click OK. Now these lines are no longer selected, but there are asterisks in the build column so I can visually see which lines that I have billed. Also at the bottom you'll see that the amount checked has changed to zero, the amount billed is the 1500, and it shows my markdown of $109. The markdown has been proportionally distributed across all the lines of build whip. If everything is good, I will click OK. It will check my tax. I'll go ahead and click OK to that too. We are now at the familiar spot where I get to pick and choose what paragraphs I want to see in my invoice. This time I'll go to the Pass Invoices tab and pick the paragraphs from invoice 0571. I'll add that. And you can see it added all the paragraphs from that past invoice to this current invoice. I could click Preview here, but this time I'm going to go ahead and click OK to the Billing Paragraph screen, and I'll print this invoice later through our Invoice Batch Utility. We've now gone over how to bill all of the WIP on a client and how to bill some of the WIP on a client. But what if we want to invoice a client but not bill any WIP? That's called a progress bill. When I choose to progress bill a client, it means that I want to invoice the client, but I don't want to relieve any WIP yet, either because we haven't started the project and there is no WIP yet, like a retainer, or I'm not done with the large project yet and I don't want to take a markup or markdown on the WIP until we're completely done. Let's say that Cutting Edge Graphics is a client I'm about to do a big project for and I would like to bill them $500 up front. They have no unbilled WIP because we have not started working on the project yet. So I'll right click and choose Progress Bill. I'll bill it $500 and click OK. I will then add the paragraph I want, and I'm done. What has happened to Cutting Edge Graphics? They now have a negative 500 unbilled WIP along with their 500 invoice. If I look at their inquiry, there's the line of unbilled negative progress WIP that was created by the progress bill. It will sit on the client's account until you enter real WIP and then final bill it all. We do this so that when you create the final bill to the client, you will be able to see the true markup or markdown on the project as a whole. While you can preview and print individual invoices during the billing process, normally it is more efficient to print all the invoices at once as a final step. To do that, you would just go up to Tools and choose Invoice Batch or Email Invoice Batch. These utilities allow you to print off or email out a batch of invoices with just a few clicks of your mouse. For more detailed instructions on how to use this tool, please see our video on email invoices and statements. There is one more billing option in TPS. Automatic bills or fixed fee monthly quarterly billing. Automatic bills work the same way as a progress bill, meaning it creates the invoice without relieving any lines of WIP. The negative WIP will sit on the client's account until you enter real WIP and then final bill it all. To set it up, we need to go to the client properties screen. On the client properties screen, let's look at Cottonwood Industries and we'll click on their billing tab automatic billing. Here you will be able to set up a reoccurring invoice by selecting the template, paragraphs, amount, and choosing if it's going to be a monthly or a quarterly invoice.
Once we've set the automatic billing in the client properties, let's go up to Tools and Automatic Billing. It will automatically pick the last day of the current period as the invoice date. I am doing monthly automatic billing, so I'm going to go ahead and click Generate. Now I can see the clients with monthly auto bills set up. In my case, it's only Cottonwood Industries, the one that we just recently created. Now the Exist column tells me that this one has not yet been created for this period. To go ahead and create this invoice, or you might have multiple invoices in here in your case, just simply click OK. I would then need to go to Tools, Invoice Batch to print out the batch of invoices just generated. As you can see, billing in TPS is easy and straightforward, yet provides lots of flexibility. Just remember the three basic steps. Number one, what do I want to bill of the outstanding WIP? All, some, or none? Number two, how much do I want to bill the WIP at? And number three, finally, what do I want to say on the invoice? Billing in TPS, it really is that simple. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out the other videos we've got online at tpssoftware.com. And if you have a specific question that we didn't cover here in this video, just give us a call or shoot us an email.